Pai Jiva Ji was there during the time of Guru Amar Das Pacha. And Pai Sahib Ji would bring Dei and Khana to Maharaj every single day to Guru Amar Das Pacha. One day, such a thing happened where the storms were brewing. They were not able to get to Guru Sahib with the Prashadda. Chai, they do an Ardas, they do a Bainti. They said, please stop the storms. Please stop the rains so that I may go and I may bring you your Prashadda. Guru Amar Das Pacha says to the Gursik, they say, Sikha, Ji The farmers that have been praying for rain so that they can harvest, so that they can grow their crops, they will be affected. They said, if this storm does not brew, the winds that are going to carry the various foods that are on top of the earth's core to then fly over into the deserts where snakes and other such animals are waiting to be fed, they will not be fed. They said the ships that are stuck in the ocean that are begging to make it home somehow to their families will be stuck in the oceans. These winds, this storm is what is allowing those ships to come home. Sure, for you it may seem that it's stopping you, it's stopping what's going on. Please stop the rain. But even in that, it is Maharaj's kirpa. It is kirpa to someone. In the Pai Jiva Ji, you must learn to understand hukam. Whatever Maharaj says, you must do. If Maharaj gives the hukam to wait, if Maharaj gives the hukam to uh, hold off, if Maharaj says it's raining and, and we have to go through that rain, then that is the hukam. And if that is the hukam, then who are you to question that? पुज बल बीर ब्रह्म सुख सागर गरत परत गहले हो अंगरिया श्रवण न सुरत नैन सुंदर नहीं आरत द्वारत रटत पिंगुरिया दीना नाथ अनाथ करना मैं साजन मीत पिता महतरिया चरण कवल हृदय गह नानक पैसागर संत पार उतरिया चरण कमल हृदय गह नानक पैसागर संत पार उतरिया वाहेगुरु जी का खालसा वाहेगुरु जी की फतेह आज महाराज दी कृपा नाल आपा Suraj Prakash Granth De Vichon uh, Ek Prasang, prasang Karange um, I told you I've been doing various readings and pulling Sakhi on from there So today the Sakhi will be from inside a Suraj Prakash Granth And the Sakhi is about Pai Mehe, Pai Meheji And um, if anyone has the Granth, it's gonna be on Ras 11 and Pag 42 Today's topic is about Sangat And it's about what it means to get the Guru's Kirpa from doing seva and what it means to have that compassion in your heart that builds what seva even is. So Pai Mehenji was a seva that inside of Guru Teg Badr Pacha's Sama, right? And so the Gurdwara where they were doing seva, it was lacking water. So what Pai Mehenji would do is they would fill up a pot of water every single day and they would place it on their head. And once they would place it on their head, they would bring it back to the Gurdwara every single day. And when they were bringing it back, uh, back and forth, back and forth, they would serve the pani for the jal, for the langar, for ishnan, for washing your hands, for anything that the Gurdwara needed it for. Pai Meheji was there taking care of it. As he was there taking care of it, um, he was not giving care to how his body feels. So as he was taking the garva back and forth from the Gurdwara to the river, Gurdwara to the river, he actually started to open up a wound on the top of his head. And that wound started to open up more and more. The garva used to sit on top of, it's like a cloth, a circular cloth that people put the garva on before they put it on their head. So that's where Pai Meheji was placing the water and Ojakam uh, Vadriyasi. As the wound started to open up because he was carrying so much weight back and forth, upon um, it opening, water began to drip into the wounds. As the water was dripping into the wounds, Pai Sabji continued to do seva. He didn't care about his body. He didn't care about the dard that came from it. He just kept going. As he was continuing going, uh, maggots started to form inside of the wound because the water and the blood and the open wound began to mix together. As the water 
and the maggots started to form in the wound, uh, Bhai Mehdi didn't give care to that. When he put the garva down at one point and he took the binu off, the binu is the uh, cloth that I, that I said, the circular cloth that's tied up to put on your head. When he took that off, he saw maggots fall onto the floor. When he saw the maggots fall, he picked them up, he washed them and he put them back into the wound. Now, when I was listening to the Saki, I was like, wait, did I read that right? Did I hear that right? He washed them and put them back into the wound. And the Pavna, what he said was, these maggots are only existing. They're only surviving because they're able to eat my flesh. If I let them fall onto the floor, they will die. There will be nothing to sustain them. And I don't want to be the Gurning God of having killed these maggots. So when he does that, Guru Tegh Badr Pachaji's Mataji sees this. And when they see it, she looks uh, at the Gursik and just thinks, Inni Pavna Seva Vaste, Inni Daya for the Sansar, for everything that's around us. Mataji immediately goes to Guru Tegh Badrji and she does a Bainti. She says, ki, Guru Sahib, Toa Dajra Se Kya, O Seva Karya. But as he's doing Seva, he's hurting himself. Not only is he hurting himself, there are maggots that are starting to form inside of his head. He's not allowing that jakham to heal, that wound to heal. And he's also not allowing to clean that jakham because he doesn't want to kill the maggots. He doesn't, he said, I would rather die while doing seva myself than to leave these poor beings and leave them to be killed. When he says that, when Mataji does this bainti to Guru Tegh Badr Pachaji, Pai Meheji does a bainti in their heart to Guru Tegh Badr Ji. And the bainti they do is, Maharaj, whatever you do, do not take the seva away from me. I want to die doing this seva. I want to make sure that no maggots, no jeev junt die because of me. I want to continue the seva. They do this bainti to Guru Tegh Badr Pacha. The next morning, Guru Sahib, Pai Meheji and Bibiji are all standing there. And as they're standing there, think about the predicament that Guru Tegh Badr Ji has been put inside of now. He's stuck between a rock and a hard place. On one side, it's, they're, they're both bhagats. Right? He has both of his buckets on both sides that are doing bentis. Mataji's benti is heal the wound, get rid of the maggots. Pai Meheji's benti is don't get rid of the wounds, don't get rid of the maggots. Please don't let these maggots die. Please uh, bless me that I can continue your seva non-stop. Let me continue your seva without, without any vegan. So Guru Tegh Te Badr Pacha is sitting there and inside... He's feeling so much happiness towards his sick. He's thinking, He has not cared about anything. My hands are starting to rip from the cold. My feet have no shoes on and I'm walking upon rocks. My head is starting to bleed. I have maggots in my skull. All he's cared about is the prem, the prem of seva, the prem of continuing. That no matter what happens, Pai Meheji is just not stopping. And Guru Tegh Badr Pacha, of the Chetta De Vecha Ho Kendene, Pai Meheji, Tusi Pama Merto, Sansar Da Raj Mangalo. Pai Meheji, may you ask me for the rule of the entire world. Forget the world, the universe. Forget the universe, Parlok, all of the heavens and hells. Ask me for the Raj of anything that you want. I'm willing to give you anything. That was Guru Sahib's pav, not towards Pai Meheji. Pai Meheji folds his hands and he says, I have only one request. Do not take the seva from me. Raj na chahu, mukta na chahu, preet charan kamalare. I don't want Raj. I don't want Mukti. All I want is love, Maharaj. I want love for your charan. I want to continue doing seva of them. All I want to do is seva. As they get into the seva, as they get into this benti, at the same time, Mataji does a bainti again. She says, I can't watch a Gursikh of yours unfold like this. So Guru Tegh Badr Pacha, the solution that he comes up with, he puts his hand, his loving hand on the cease of Pai Meheji and he fixes the wound. Once he fixes the wound, uh, the maggots disappear. A Guru Tsab says to Pai Meheji, they say, Pai Meheji, Aap ji ne inna khosh ki ta hai minnu. Aap ji ne You've made me so happy with your seva that those kide that you were defending, those maggots that you were defending, I have gone and I've even liberated those kide. I've gone ahead and made sure that they don't have to suffer. 
They are now in Swarg. I've sent them to the heavens. And I've cleaned out your wound. You don't have to worry about the maggots anymore. Please continue your seva. Guru Tegh Badr Pacha then Evi Kende ne. Kende ki Pai Sahib Ji. If any Sikh comes and does this type of seva, they say, forget this type of seva. If any Sikh comes and even does a minute of seva, comes to the Gurdwara, washes a dish, cleans some jorde, does any seva of the Guru Kar and the Guru Sangat and Guru Sahib themselves, kende ona nu swarg miluga. And I've heard from Gursiks before, and you're washing those pande. See the Sangat as Guru Nanak Dev Ji. And when you see the Sangat as Guru Nanak Dev Ji and you're washing each dish, you'll begin to realize that Prem inside of you where you go, wow, I, I'm blessed to be able to clean the pande of Guru Nanak Dev Maharaj. I'm blessed. Guru Sahib ate out of this place. Os pav, na de naal, you'll slowly start to see everybody as the Guru. Outside of that pav, na Guru Tegh Badr Pacha says, Guru De Kar Devach, if you go and you do seva, I will bless you. I will bless you with your heart's desires. I will bless you with heaven. I will bless you with such khand, with swarg. As Guru Tegh Badr Pacha says this, the sikya that comes out for the Gursikhs is simple. Sometimes we go into the Gurdwara and we think he... Yeah, I've been victim of this. You know, I'm wearing a new white chola and I'm like, oh, if I do Pandani Seva right now, they might get dirty, right? Guru Nanak Dev Pacha, when they came into contact with Pai Lerna Ji, who would then go on to become Guru Angad Dev Maharaj, they send them out into the fields. And when Pai Lerna Ji is out in the fields and they're doing Seva, the Seva is, it's a farmland, right? And everybody is pulling vegetation out of the ground because it's harvest season. As they're harvesting, they're stacking uh, both excess mud and vegetation into different baskets. Pailerna Ji had no experience in farming. So he starts to go around and pull the, the wrong part of the vegetation. As he's pulling the wrong part out, Gursiks are seeing that they're doing with Pyar and Guru Nanak Dev Ji sees that they're doing with Pyar so they don't say anything. It doesn't matter if you do the Seva right or wrong. It just matters your intention. It matters that you're going in there and you're trying. A lot of times we, we don't do Chor Sab Seva. We don't do you know the vacuum Seva inside of the Darbar or we don't go and do Seva at the Langar Sab or we don't do Seva at the Nishan Sab. And the reason we don't is we're so afraid. What are we afraid of? We're afraid galti na ho jave. I hope I don't make a mistake that's unforgivable. I hope I don't make a mistake that my guru will look at and say, e ki The thing is, Guru Nanak Dev Ji looked at Pai Lerna Ji and they smile. They smile and they chuckle and they're happy with their seva because they know that even though they don't know what they're doing, they're doing it out of so much love and energy that it's paravan. It's granted. So Guru Nanak Dev Ji laughs and they tell them, Ki, why don't you go and start to withdraw some of the mud and grab the vegetation from the other things and, and hold it on your head. Now Pai Lerna Ji is wearing brand new silk chole clothing. Guru Nanak Dev Pacha's Tarampatni says to them, why are you bullying this guy? Why are you giving him such a hard time? He's wearing brand new clothes and you've sent him out in the farmland. Guru Nanak Dev Pacha says to Mataji, he says, Suno, go and look at their clothes. Tell me, do you see mud or do you see kesar? Kesar is this beautiful rang that's uh, orangish yellow that is uh, made to uh, make clothing and everything look more beautiful. As the six and Mataji look at Pai Lerna Ji, they see kesari rang all over Pai Lerna Ji's Chola. What's happening is their Prem, that Majitha Rang of their Prem, that dark crimson love that they have that cannot be washed away from the Atma, is making even mud turn into Kesari. And it's making them look even more beautiful. It's making someone that is at the epitome of beauty look so uh, gorgeous that their Pratap itself is inspiring six to do more Seva. As that's happening, the listener, us, from Pai Mehaji, Pai Lernaji, what we hear, what we see is, when you go to the Gurdwara, and you do even a minute or two of Seva, 
Even if something gets on your clothes, even if you feel, now obviously if you're cleaning toilets or if you're, you know, doing something where your dhari can get dirty, um, you should practice suchamta, you should take your hazudia, wrap it around your face and make sure that your dhari and your face are covered from it because this is the same dhari in case that we're going to sit in front of Guru Sahib when we grab a gotka and read. Right? So it's about having that cleansiness, but at the same time, it's about not worrying about the details and going in there and just doing it. Two minutes can get you swark. Something getting on your clothes can make it kesar. The thing in the, 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 the house of the Guru is there's just an abundance of kirpa. You know, and some Mahapurks break down the word kirpa to mean karo and pao. Karo means to do, go out there and do. Pao is to receive. When we go out there and we do, in turn, Maharaj blesses us to receive. Right? So in the Guru's house is how we form these karam. These karam is how things begin to change. Now, within the, the, the realm of, of Seva, there was a Gursik. Their name was Pai Jivaji. Pai Jivaji was there during the time of Guru Amr Das Pacha. And Pai Sabji would bring Dei and Khana to Maharaj every single day to Guru Amr Das Pacha. One day, such a thing happened where the storms were brewing and they were not able to get to Guru Sahib with the Prashadda. The Prashadda was on one side, Pai Sab was on another. Pai Sab says to Guru Amr Das Pacha, they do an Ardas, they do a Benti. They said, please stop the storms, please stop the rains so that I may go and I may bring you your Prashadda. Guru Amr Das Pacha says to the Gursik, they say, Sikha, hai If today I stop this rain, the farmers that have been praying for rain so that they can harvest, so that they can grow their crops, they will be affected. They said, if this storm does not brew, the winds that are going to carry the various foods that are on top of the earth's core to then fly over into the deserts where snakes and other such animals are waiting to be fed, they will not be fed. They said the ships that are stuck in the ocean that are begging to make it home somehow to their families will be stuck in the oceans. These winds, this storm is what is allowing those ships to come home. Sure, for you it may seem that it's stopping you, it's stopping what's going on, please stop the rain. But even in that, it is Maharaj's kirpa. It is kirpa to someone. Kinde Pai Jiva Ji, you must learn to understand hukam. Whatever Maharaj says, you must do. If Maharaj gives the hukam to wait, if Maharaj gives the hukam to uh, hold off, if Maharaj says it's raining and, and we have to go through that rain, then that is the hukam. And if that is the hukam, then who are you to question that? They said sometimes we do ardas for things that are already in our pag. And they say, you must ask yourself, who am I to question, am I going to receive this or not? Sad Sangaji, there are three things that change our karam. One is Nam Simran and Bani. The more Nam Simran and Bani you do, the more your karam change. Number two is your Sangat. The more you sit in Sangat, the more you sit in Mahapurkhandi Sangat, Brahmgyani Di Sangat, the more you matha take. They say when you matha take, the lines that are written on your hands and foreheads that these rishis and munis read to tell you your pavish, to tell you your future, those change. Every time we place our hands at Guru Sahib's charan and we put our forehead on the floor, the lines on our foreheads, the lines on our hands change. Every time we meet a Brahmgyani and they get happy with us, a Mahapurk, and they bless us, our pag, our karam, they change. The third is seva. Through seva, sangat, and through Nam Simran, we change our karam. We change the direction that we are headed. Pai Am Guru Amr Das Pacha gives this lesson to Pai Jiva Ji and they say, you must do Ardas Binti for Nam and Bani. Because by doing Binti for Nam and Bani, what you receive, you receive so much more. Uh, Pai Jagrad Singh Ji, in one of his videos, he says, it's like when a child comes to their parent and they ask for an elephant and they say, I want an elephant. And the parent goes, I, well, I know you can't handle an elephant. It'll smush you, it'll kill you, but I can get you a puppy or I can get you a goldfish, right? 
The Guru will give you what will actually make you happy. When you think, oh, if I do Ardas for this person to be in my life, for this job to be in my life. I met a Gursik once. He told me, he goes, I did Ardas so much that I get a job. Give me, I did Ardas and then I decided to take a Hukumanama. They said, when I took the Hukumanama, all indications were for me to not take that job. And then I kind of started to play mental gymnastics and I convinced myself, you know what, maybe I should take this job. Guru Saab wants us to work. Guru Saab says Kirt is good. But now he's been doing Ardas and he's been getting hukum in one way. And I took this lesson from them. They say, listen, I hate where I work now. I am miserable. You know, I get no time for my net name. I, get, I feel so broken away from Maharaj. And then, so I went back to Maharaj and I said, you do what's right and I don't recognize it. Maharaj, forgive me and bless me to be able to go back and just get a job that that you want me to do. So Maharaj So the Gursik, when I had uh, met him, he was telling me that he, he was just starting his new job and he was like, see, Guru Sahib ne hukum de vech jo kya, ohi parwan si. I shouldn't have gone against the hukum. And I took that as a lesson. So many times I've gotten business ideas or seva ideas or ideas in my personal life and I'll take a hukum nama and Maharaj, uh, not always will indicate, but they will indicate what needs to happen next. And a lot of times Maharaj will say, Naam japo seva karo jan saadadi sangadi seva karo. Why? Comes back to Pai Mehaji, comes back to Pai Jiva Ji, comes back to Pai Lerna Ji. When we do what the Guru does Upadesh of. When we take a Hukum Nama and we go and we listen to Kirtan and we do Naam Simran and we do Seva and we, we serve Maharaj and their Hukums, what ends up happening is we end up in our life with things that are much more than what we would have expected. Now we all live very busy lives. We all have a hard time balancing our work, school and personal life balances. Guru Teg Badr Ji's Upadesh it was just Pai ji had to accept the hukam of what was happening. When we accept those hukams, it brings us to a place of recognizing that Maharaj's game is outside of our understanding. Pagat Nam Dev Ji, they write in their Bani, Patit Pavan Mado Bird Tera. Maharaj, you, it is your innate nature that you're the one that gives the path, that gives the honor to those that are sinners. They say, blessed are those saints, are those Devi Devte, are those sages, are those Rishis, Munis that can sit down and do your Naam Bani Maharaj. Mere mathe lagi le tuhur, gob in the charanan ki. What have I done? I've gone and I've applied the dust of the feet of Maharaj's charan. I've put that on my forehead, right? We matha take, we... Comes back to all the sakis we were talking about, about that nimrta, that, that need and desire to want to be with Maharaj, to do what Maharaj, you know, wants from us. As we do those things, Maharaj says, surna ramunaja natinho te dur. This is something that's far away. Putting this type of nimrta, putting Guru Sab's charantur to your matha, again, this is far away from even those vade vade sages and rishi munis that have been doing that bhakti. Bhakti also comes with nimrta. Bhakti comes with falling. It comes with seva. It even comes with kirt, as we talked last week. Deen ka dhyal madho garb parhari Charan saran na maambal tiyari O Mara Sache Pacha, merciful to those that are low The destroyer of pride, Maharaj Charan saran na maambal tiyari I come and I fall at your charan We ask, how do we fall at the charan? We fall at the charan by listening to and about Such mahan gursiks as Pai Meha Ji Pai Jiva Ji about such Mahan Gur Six as Pai Lerna Ji who would go on to become Guru Angad Dev Maharaj. Jin Prem Kiyo Tin Hi Prabhbayo Maharaj Agge Ehi Ardaas Hai Eho Ek Bainti Hai Maharaj Hirde De Vech Prem Baksho Avdin Naam Bani Di 
ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਉਹ ਬਖਸ਼ ਕੇ ਆਪ ਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਜਪਾ ਲੋ ਆਪ ਦੀ ਬਾਣੀ ਜਪਾ ਲੋ ਆਪ ਦੇ ਗੁਰਸਖਾਂ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਾ ਲੋ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਆਈ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਨੋ ਹਾਊ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਬਗਤੀ ਆਈ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਨੋ ਹਾਊ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਨਾਮ ਸਿਮਰਨ ਆਈ ਫਾਲ ਏਵਰੀ ਸਟੈਪ ਆਈ ਟੇਕ ਥੇਰਫੋਰ ਨੋ ਅਦਰ ਸਟੈਪਸ ਆਰ ਮਾਈਨ ਇਟਸ ਆਲ ਯੋਰਸ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਖਿਮਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਬਖਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਬਖਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਨੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਕਾਵੜ ਦੰਗ